All right, Cats Ninjas, back here at the Cats Dojo, Sensei Lance with Sensei Alex again. And today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing uh, another great drill. Uh, where we're going to be working with the pool noodles. Okay, now, uh, if you didn't notice what I did here, I took one pool noodle, okay, they cost about a dollar anywhere you like to shop. And uh, what I did is I cut it in half. And what we do is we use these for evasion drills, moving around and, uh, and not getting hit. And one of the reasons that we use the pool noodles is because we can practice uh, pretty hard and pretty fast. And if you mess up and you get hit, it's a soft pool noodle. It's not the end of the world, okay? I still want you to be safe, but this is a pretty safe tool to be working with. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on some of our evasion skills. And anybody that knows me knows that I, I work intently on, on moving around, evasion, footwork, things like that to get people out of the way of attacks, okay? Because uh, I, I'll be absolutely honest with you, I think punching and kicking people, that's the easy part. The hard part is not getting beat up, is not getting hit, okay? So from here, we're gonna use the pool noodles, two of my favorite things here, and we are gonna show you a simple evasion drill, and then I'm gonna explain what you're doing. Okay, so Sensei Alex is gonna be in his garden team. All right, and this is going to be the slip, slip, duck. Slip, slip, duck. I'll explain that from here. What I'm going to do, okay, notice we're both in our guarding senses. He's in his guarding sense. He's ready to go. He realized that I'm a threat. And from here, I'm in my guarding sense. I don't just stand here like this. All right, so from here, I'm in my sense. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left hand. I'm going to try to touch him right on top of the head. And what he's going to do is he's going to just give me a slight lean to the side. Boom. That way it doesn't hit him in the head. It just kind of touches his shoulder over here. Then I'm going to take the right hand. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. He's going to lean to the other side. Boom. Just like that. Now from here, I'm going to take this left noodle. Notice how I went to my shoulder. I'm going to swing it toward the top of his head, and he's just going to duck. Just like that. And, of course, the most important thing is here, his face didn't get hit. Okay, so we're going to do this just a smidge faster. And I'm going to explain what you're doing here here in a second. So it's here. He goes slip, slip, duck, just like that. So here again. Ready? Slip, slip, duck, just like that. Okay, one more time. Slip, slip, duck. And of course, and since they had messed up, it wouldn't have been the end of the world because these things are nice and soft. Okay, and that's the cool thing is you can mess up. In training, it's okay if you mess up, all right? So from here, he could mess up and be like, oh, okay, all right, I messed up. All right, let, let, okay, let, let, let. all right, let's do it again. I got it, okay? That's the whole point of training. That's the time to make the mistakes and fix them. That way, when the real-life situation happens, you're ready to go, all right? So from here, um, I'm using the pool noodles. One more time, it's here. It's slip, slip. Duck. Now, let me show you what you're doing in real life without the noodles. What if I was the attacker and I got bare fists? From here, I'm throwing my lead hand. He's slipping my jab. He's slipping my cross. I swing really hard. He ducks underneath. That's what we're doing. Okay? So just a smidge faster. Since I didn't know he's going to be doing the bare knuckle dodging today. Okay, from here. Huh? 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 That's the actual drill. Okay, and notice we always want to slip a certain way. Notice when I throw this left hand, he goes that way. That way, look, I can't, this right hand can't really get to him. If I throw the right hand, he slips the other way. Up, uh, see, I can't really punch over. It, it's awkward. And then from here, when I swing here, he ducks. All right? So that's how we do it. From here, it's a slip, slip, duck. We always slip to the outside. Okay? When I say the outside, huh? Notice he's over there. He's not standing over here. He's not, he didn't slip over here. And he slips over here. Watch. Huh? Bang. Okay? So make sure you always slip to the outside of the arm. Outside of the arm. All right, y'all. Like I said, the noodle drills are a great drill. And the cool thing is, is you can play around with them. You can make this a fun drill. From here, I got the noodles. From here, I might just add a little bit to this. From here, I'll go slip, slip, duck, and then swing it out when he ducks. Ha-ha! Ah, he shielded Okay, slip, slip, duck, duck. Okay, you can make a, an evasion drill. And of course, you noticed just a second ago, he did what we called shield. Shield on this side. So it's like, boom, where he gets his arm up. They call it answering the phone. Boom, got that arm up to shield. That way, that way the, the strike hit his arm. 
and not his face. And of course, from here, uh, let's see. Let's do uh, slip, slip, shield. Here, slip, slip, shield. Things like that. You can mix in these little, these little dodging uh, uh, drills with the noodles, shielding, defense drills, things like that, because it's a great tool. And of course, if you mess up, you get hit. It doesn't hurt. So, Taylor, are you okay? I'm great. Awesome. All right, y'all. I highly recommend these. They're only a dollar. Go out, get one, and use this training tool. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.